Well, hello and welcome to the living room floor of the dollhouse for another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and you selfers. And why are we on the living room floor, you may be wondering? Well, because we got to get down to the foundation. That's right. The wheel of the zodiac has turned ever so slightly. I don't know if it's clockwise or anti, but one of those directions. And gone from the Cancer Leo cusp on into the Leo 1 period of the 48 zodiac periods. And the date range for Leo 1 is July 26th to August 2nd. The zodiac position is approximately 2 to 11 degrees Leo. The central image is authority. The season is midsummer. The element is fire. The quality is fixed. The ruler is the sun. Your symbol is the lion. And your mode is intuition. All right, let's get into the Leo 1 breakdown. The Leo 1 period takes authority as its central image. And this period can be likened to the beginning of a mature adult life as an individual turns 30. Confidence can run high at this point if the doubts and uncertainty of the first Saturn return, age 28 or 29, have been resolved. Beginning the process of establishing oneself as an authority is a given field can be focus can be a focus at this time and an absorbing task. Some must assume the role of authority to their growing children, while others may look to an older, more experienced person who can serve as a teacher, a guide who can initiate them into a broader understanding of the world. Other Leo ones may strengthen their sense of confidence through what they learn from books, methods, religious or spiritual teachings, philosophy, etc. The days which comprise Leo I symbolically reveal the mature adult developing a truly original style, making important decisions for him or herself and the family or work group, and in general trying to be successful in life by making his or her name known and trusted. All right, let's dive into the Leo I personality. Leo One people are among the most powerfully authoritative of the year. Although many have leadership qualities, it is not the act of commanding others that usually appeals to them, but asserting themselves and being taken seriously. Although much of their energy is channeled inward rather than outward toward developing their own strengths and abilities. Success for these tough individuals may not always be measured in worldly terms either. Often they have private goals, whether intellectual or physical, which they pursue with unrelenting tenacity. Surpassing their own previous achievements may figure predominantly for them. Leo ones are not people who blend in with the wallpaper either. In fact, too often they feel the need to dominate their environment, and the more advanced born on this period learn the greater results can only be achieved without making their presence felt too strongly. However, the posture of a Leo one naturally tends toward the imposing and therefore no matter what they do is difficult for them to remain unobtrusive. And since their outlook is generally forceful and positive, Leo ones may not be able to understand mooniness or negativity in others. If their own outlook becomes negative through rejection or failure, they may be ill-equipped to deal with it. Leo ones often find themselves in situations where they are called upon to make decisions for others. They tend to be upwardly mobile in their orientation and may well reach positions of power where responsibilities can be truly crushing. For the most part, those born in this period are more than capable of handling challenging demands. But in some cases, their own private goals and real interests can get swallowed up by their professional life. This can, of course, lead to frustration. Perhaps one scenario for such Leo ones is that their drive for success, they make themselves indispensable for their firm or organization and then are simply unable to leave, having grown used to the rewards earned and the feeling of being needed and valuable. Hmm. All right, let's move on to some advice for you Leo ones. All right. Advice. Learn to accept people as they are, both the positive and negative. It is probably useless to try to camouflage yourself, but do try to be more diplomatic 
and sensitive. Although you are good at making decisions for others, you may have overlooked making some crucial decisions for yourself. It does not make you less of a person to be a bit more easygoing. All right, let's dive in with some Leo One notables. Okay, Leo One notables. We have Carl Gustav Jung. We have Dorothy Hamill, Leo Drusur, uh, Pina Bosch. I'm guessing <laughs> Marcel Decamp, Jacqueline Kennedy Ondasis. We have Benito Mussolini. We also have Elizabeth Hanford Doyle. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pat Schroeder, Primo Levi, we have Geraldine Chaplin, Herman Melville, Evelyn Walsh McLean, and we have James Baldwin and Myrna Loy. And this has been Leo One of the 48 periods of the Zodiac for the secret language of birthdays. I uh, hope you join us for some birthday readings there, you Leo Ones. And anyone else who was curious about this period? I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you for a birthday read. Take care.